Hi there. This is a review for the uh, style book uh, Men Closet Organizer and Assistant. Um, I've been using this actually for um, a couple years now and I'll get into why uh, I think it's a pretty awesome uh, app and totally worth the money uh, in a few minutes. Um, but um, yeah, I, I think I looked around the other day and didn't see any um, reviews for this and I showed it to some of my friends who think I'm crazy but uh, I wanted to send them something on it and didn't see anything that I could share to kind of explain it really quick. And plus, I think that the interface has a lot of um, extra bells and whistles for some people that might get into this more than I do, but I use it primarily as like a, a tracker to um, make sure I know what I've got in my closet and essentially stop me from, uh, from buying clothes when I don't need them. So anyway, um, this is the app, the bottom left-hand side there, Stylebook. Um, I said for men earlier when I <laughs> mentioned it because... I think they have an identical um, uh, application, but it's just like a different icon or something. Uh, and for, for women, I think they're the exact same app. So anyway, for what it's worth, um, this is the icon. So I'm just going to click on that and launch the app real quick. So uh, just for uh, this review to keep this short and probably because you guys probably can't hear me that well because the audio on this is pretty bad. But uh, I'm just going to walk through upper left there closet and then maybe talk about calendar which is the, the second there on the left, and then style stats. Um, the rest of this stuff I think I, I just don't use. Um, and I'm sure some people do, but I don't. So uh, what does this thing do? Um, they see it's like a or closet organizer, um, which that's exactly what it is. So on uh, the upper left, you can see I click on closet, and this took a long time to do, um, but uh, I've got all kinds of stuff in here. Um, all of my, just click on outerwear, you can see coats, jackets, winter sport, um, I have, over the last couple of years or so, I buy a lot of my stuff online, so when I buy it, um, I save it, and um, I basically, you know, save the uh, information on what it is, and I can then import it into this thing really quick, because it's on my phone, right? Uh, if you save an image when you're shopping, or a screen capture, you crop it, you can easily drop it in here, and then this will actually show you um, your all of your stuff at a glance. So you just kind of have to have patience, um, and you can just do this if you're on a train or the bus or something. Um, it's really easy to do, uh, but yeah, like I said, it takes some time. Um, if you're starting with a bunch of the pictures you already have them, that's great. If you're like me and you started and you have a ton of stuff that um, you didn't buy online, gifts and things like that, um, you know, maybe you just have pictures of uh, the item from, I don't know, lying on your carpet. Um, there you go. Uh, but that works too, and I'll show you really quick some tools that come with this app. Um, that can clean up the picture a little bit, but really it's just to kind of get an idea of where all of your stuff is and what you have. Um, and, you know, maybe if you're thinking about getting rid of stuff too, like you could just go through and kind of move stuff in your, you know, make a folder for giving away and, and give that stuff away, I guess. Clean out your closet. So, um, anyway, I'll just kind of start here really quick. So, um, if you're adding things, uh, so you go into like, let's say, uh, actually, what do I have? I'll show you guys how to add something. So you go to jackets. Um, I've already added the, the last couple of things I purchased here, but if you go into the upper right, there's a little plus button, click on that, and you can see you can paste a photo, you can take a photo like live if you wanted, um, take multiple photos, which would only keep one, uh, or you choose from an album. I always choose from an album. Uh, it seems to be the easiest. So if I go in here, you'll see like, oh, great. Okay, well, here's a vest, Patagonia vest. So. Uh, you can see the things down here at the bottom. There's a manual edit. Um, you can, this slider automatically uh, will drop out the background depending on the contrast. Um, sometimes it works great. Uh, sometimes um, it cuts away a lot. Of, you can see in the upper left there that part of the vest is disappearing. Um, this is a really good picture and it's on a white background and it's a black item, so high contrast. Um, I always just kind of keep the, the, the backgrounds in there. It's not a big deal. Um, you can screw around the other, uh, like, it's, you know, the, the edits, the manual edits, the little return undo button and stuff at the bottom if you want. Um, but I don't really get into all that. Um, I just kind of crop it, put it in there. It's good to go. So um, here we go. So if you wanted to, you know, place some notes in here, you click on that bottom left. And you could say, like, hey, I purchased, uh, you know, uh, in August, let's say, 2017 um, from store. I don't know. Um and then you can go in here and put in, you know, the color. Uh, you could just little check mark, and there's all these other options in here. This comes to play later. I don't really think it's important. Um, you could put in, you know, size, and like this is a free text field here. 
fabric, every time you add something in the top here, it drops down and becomes a, a future um, uh, category here that you can choose from value. And then, you know, season. They have these kind of presets. You can click them if you want. Uh, and then it holds on to that. Again, same thing here. If you buy something, and I'm kind of embarrassed about some of these brands in here, but if you buy something, uh, or sorry, you place it in here up at the top, it'll add it here for later. So uh, there's Patagonia, click on that, save. And then maybe the most important as far as I'm concerned, if you spend money on clothes, you spend lots of money on clothes, um, you might find this way more um, impressive here, this, this option. So then um, URL, if you want, if you have the website where you found that, you can copy and paste it uh, right to here and then, you know, save it. Um, but, you know, those links go dead after a while. So maybe don't do that. Um, do it if you like, but it might not work in the future. It doesn't screw it up if it breaks the link. Um, down here uh, on the very bottom, you'll see edit. So that's how you edit, right? Which I was just in. Uh, there's the file folder, which lets you move things. And you make these categories in the upper left. You can see that plus category. Um, I just made mine kind of, you know, pretty straightforward, I guess. And you could, you know, do subfolders within those categories, of course. Um, this is very interesting, the very middle, right? So that very middle button is a calendar. And this is what's kind of crazy. And I'll get into this in a couple minutes. But you can actually, if you're one of those people that forgets what they wore all the time, I'm walking out the door and waiting for the bus or whatever, I will just tap on these things. You can just tap on it and it'll say, okay, cool. You're wearing it that day. You go back and look at the calendar later and I'll show you from the main and you'll be able to see what you wore if it matters to you. Um, then there's the garbage can, obviously, uh, for deleting and then also this. And I'll get to this in a second, but shareable Wi-Fi is one of their, uh, their um, functions that they built into this app. So anyway, there's your new item. You can also you know hit the select key, tap it, you can then drag it around. Let's see if that works. There we go. Drag it around. If it matters, if you drag it over here, it then becomes the default uh, picture. See right there, jackets. Um, and you can just you know select it again, click it, move it over here. If you want to move multiple things at the same time, you click on multiple things, click on that uh, move to, and you can drop into any of these other areas, whatever uh, categories you've already created. So I'm gonna uncheck these, and I'm gonna show you really quick. You could just you know. If this is the one that I made. Oh, by the way, you single tap on it, and that will bring up all the stuff that you uh, uh, put in already. So that's good. And if you swipe to the uh, side like that, you'll be able to see the other things very easily. So there you go. Nice and easy. So, and I'm going to delete this one really quick because it's a duplicate. So there you go. It's gone. And uh, now I will back out. So you, you can see the sub levels, as I mentioned earlier. There's coats, and you can go in here and so, and if you just tap it, you collapse it, tap it to expand it. Now, if you go back to the home right there, and a lot of this stuff on this main screen is duplicated across the bottom, you'll see. Uh, so there's some kind of redundancy here, but um, I was just in closet. It shows you, you know, all your entries, right? How you view things. Um, to the, uh, like, mid left here, calendar, that's what I just showed you a minute ago. And this is interesting because if you click on it, and yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. I'd like, you know, actually choose these things. Sometimes I include more than I probably need to, but, um, you know, you can click through and actually see what you wore those days if you find this kind of thing interesting. Um, and then obviously some days I don't do it. Um, and the little black dot in the calendar uh, you can see there, that just means that you've logged more than just the item that's showing. So so I got dressed up like Daffy Duck this day, um, and I have just the shirts, then no black dot. If there's a black dot, it means, hey, there's more items in here. Um, so what's interesting is, you can see in the bottom here, most worn this month, best value this month. So if you're really um, kind of dedicated to putting all your information in here, which sometimes I'm slacking and I don't, then you can actually kind of get a feel for, okay, you know, what are the items that I wore the most this month? And it, it divides how many times you wore that item by how much you spent on it. So it kind of gives you an idea of just how many times you've, how much, you know, money that right there, that belt, you know, twelve ninety eight dollars per wear, I never wear that belt. So um, it's just kind of interesting uh, information if you're really into it, if you care about that kind of thing. I wore some of the same shirts many times this month. So anyway, you don't kind of see them until you see it, I guess, on this kind of thing. So whatever, you don't have to use that part. I think the most important part is the closets where you can obviously, I'll go and be like, oh, maybe I need some t-shirts or I love that t-shirt. I'm at the store, I'm like, this is stupid. I have way too many t-shirts. This is really dumb. I need to get rid of some. So, you know, that'll kind of help keep you, I guess, not spending a ton of money, if you like. Um, and I think it's just good, you know, if you're looking around, you're like, well, geez, how many, 
I don't know, how many Banana Republic items do I have? Or you're thinking about something you need, or I'm sorry, that you, you have, and you're like, wow, where's that Banana Republic? Um, you just put this in, in the search. Gosh, I hope that works. Yeah, it's just thinking, I think it's, oh, search, there we go, upper right, and it's searching, and then it will show you, hey, here's some Banana Republic stuff that you have, which didn't seem to work very well, actually. That first thing's not Banana Republic. But anyway, um, it works better if you're down here, and you can just select things, uh, brand especially. So if you go in there, let me just get rid of this banana thing, go to brand, and then this is probably what I need to do. Banana, done, search, there you go, much better. So if you wanna see like, hey, you know, I had these pair of Banana Republic something, whatever, you just click in here, look around, remember a size that you want, or I don't know, a certain fit or something on a pair of pants, um, it's in here, uh, as long as you entered it right. So again, it takes a lot of time to do all this, but um, I think it's pretty awesome. I even have my Halloween costumes in here, which is ridiculous. But let me kind of wrap this up because it's going longer than I expected. So um, in the center right, so this is the basically we're kind of rounding out the last things that I do here. So um, this is kind of crazy. You look at it and if you choose your, you know, your um, uh, price or I'm sorry, if you're entering all your prices in that you're paying for things and you even click on that like color thing. Um, that's in there, you'll actually start to see some trends. And again, if it's interesting to you, at least you can get like renter's insurance that makes sense uh, for how much money uh, your stuff's worth, I guess. But um, it's just kind of neat. You can kind of go through here and it'll show you like for what it's worth, <laughs> this kind of information for me, the closet value. And that, that's kind of interesting. And just essentially knowing what I have in the closet and not getting caught up in some kind of like Black Friday um, huge Cyber Monday sale or something and buying a bunch of stuff and then just returning it a couple days later when I realized that I bought a bunch of stuff I don't need. Or maybe I have a duplicate of something. Uh, last thing I'm going to mention is the bottom right. It says Wi-Fi accept. So if you're wondering like, hey, I, I like this. I want to put this on my iPad or something. Um, the thing is like this all is contained within the app itself. All the pictures, the text, everything. Um, it is part of your, um, your backup um, for your, um, whatchamacallit, uh, your iCloud backup. So as long as you've got that enabled, you know, I, I mean, I've been moving this backup from phone to phone over the last couple of years, uh, or maybe maybe three years, and it works great. Um, I think that uh, the problem is that when you want to just, if you wanted to just send this to your iPad, so you can have everything and have it like sync, it doesn't do that. And so um, if you wanted to, if I had, if I, if I, you know, put this on my iPad, which I tried at one point, uh, I would have to, and send, if I wanted to try to send something to myself, um, I could just, you know, um, send here, bottom right, click on that, and there's that share over Wi-Fi. Now, if I try to do that, and I turn it off for a second because I'm doing this video, but if I try to do that, I'd have to have my um, my iPad running this, and then bottom right, this Wi-Fi accept on, and then I'd go, okay, I'm receiving this. If you have 560 items in here, like apparently I do, you're not going to send every single one of these things to yourself and then move them per category or whatever and arrange it. Total waste of time. So... Uh, I would love to see these guys update the app so that you have actual syncing across devices um, and that, you know, I can have my iPad while I'm shopping or something uh, and have this on the side. So I can immediately just look and be like, I don't need this stuff. Close my iPad. So um, anyway, that's the only thing I would say um, is, is kind of um, clunky and, and, you know, it works, but uh, it's not really something I bother with. Other than that, you guys can see there's, you know, looks, inspiration, shop, style expert, all that stuff, I don't use any of it. I think it kind of ties into like um, websites and things like that. Packing, I think, is interesting. Um, I have used it maybe one or two times where if you want to like create a packing list, you can kind of do it, you know, um, by just dropping stuff in here. It's all in here anyway. And then uh, it saves in here. So you can make a new list at the bottom right there and, and just, you know, add stuff in. And, and it's actually pretty cool, if you, I guess, if you travel a lot um, to just kind of build this stuff and then save it. Um, yeah, and you can get an idea of what you're going to wear on vacation or whatever or to the beach and stuff. So um, that's it. If you have any questions, um, please do post them underneath and I will try to answer them. And uh, wow, if you hung in there, this thing's going on 15 minutes. So I'm most impressed that you're still with me. Um, so yeah, uh, this app right now is, uh, I think it's at 7.0. Uh, it's on the, um, the store uh, on iTunes and it's $3.99. And uh, it's um, the seller's left brain slash right brain. Um, yeah, and uh, I guess they're updating it all the time. I've noticed little things from here to there that are just kind of um, minor, but like nice. 
But yeah, like I said, um, at some point it'd be really, really cool if they would just let this stuff, you know, go to Dropbox or something. The backup's not all that big. It's a couple hundred megs at this point because these pictures are pretty small. Um, I guess that's it. Um, okay, well, thanks for watching and listening. And yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know and I will try to answer them best I can. Thanks.